Notice what it says in verse 7. I like the King James in this verse. He says, And the peace of God, which passes understanding. Now why does he call it peace that passes understanding? Because it's beyond what you can figure out in your mind. Because you have unburdened all those things that cause you anxiety in your mind. And the peace that passes understanding will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, think whatsoever things are honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. He gives us a sort of a way to analyze the things we think about. If it causes you anxiety, don't think on those things. Give those things to God. There's a lot of things that will come into your mind and cause you all kinds of anxiety. But you, you're the custodian of what's in your mind. You've got to choose. You've got to choose what you think of. And you can choose. You can say, I, I give that to God. You work that out. You know, sometimes people do things that, that aggravate us. And we worry about that and get that upset. You have to say, Heavenly Father, you take care of that. <laughs> I'm not going to worry. I, I can't worry it out. Is that okay? It doesn't mean that we're not concerned with people and we don't try to be helpful to people. But when you find that it's become anxiety and worry to you, then it's, being, it's, it's acting in a destructive way in your life. Okay, verse 9. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do. And the God of peace shall be with you. He says, listen, friends, the things that you've learned by observing me, this guy in prison who's telling everybody how to have peace, says the things you've learned from me, do those same things, and the God of peace will be with you. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly, that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again. You see, they sent him a gift and offer. Uh, wherein you were also careful, but you lacked opportunity. Verse 11. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned. See, he told them, the things you've learned from me, practice those things. Then he says, I had to learn this myself. Verse 11. I, I have learned, in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. Now when he says whatsoever state, he doesn't mean Oklahoma or Kansas. He means whatever kind of circumstance I find myself in. Like in a Roman prison. That's the state he's in right now. Now see, that would be a, a condition which most people would say, uh, this is not a good state to be in. And I would agree with that. But he says, I have learned in whatever condition or circumstance or state I am, there would be content. And the word content there literally means independent and sufficient for every circumstance. In other words, independent of the circumstance. In other words, I'm in this circumstance, but I'm not controlled by this circumstance. Does that make sense? I'm independent of it. That's what it means to be content. For, listen to verse 12. For I know both how to be abased. Do you know what that means? That means put down. Or we might say uh, brought low. And I know how to abound. Do you know what that means? That means lifted up. Push down, lift it up. I know how uh, to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. Uh, both to abound and to suffer need. The English Standard Version says, I have learned the secret of facing plenty or lack, abundance or need. Okay, how do you do all these things, Paul? Verse 13 is the key. Look at what he says in verse 13. I can do all things. Now, stop for a moment. What things? Well, all those things he just mentioned. Deal with any circumstance. Face any pressure. See, Jesus said, in the world you'll have pressure. But in me, remember that? In me, you'll have peace. And Paul said, I've learned this secret. It doesn't matter what's going on on the outside. I've got something on the inside that's bigger and stronger than anything on the outside. Has anybody ever seen a ping pong ball? You know what a ping pong ball is? Does everybody know what that is? Did you know that if you took a ping pong ball and you took, put it at the bottom of a swimming pool, do you know what would happen when you let go of it? What? You go up to the top. Did you know you could put all the pressure in the world on top of that ping pong ball? You could take it to the bottom of the ocean, and if you let go of it, guess where it would go? Yeah, you know why? Because there is something, there's pressure on the inside of the ping pong ball that's greater than anything that you can bring to bear on the outside. See, that's an example of what we have as Christians. We've got something on the inside, which is Jesus, which is our relationship with Him, made real by the Holy Spirit, which, if we would let it be, is stronger and greater than any pressure that can come on the outside. Now here's a man who had all the pressure in the world piled on him. If you read uh, all, the, all of his writings, he says, I was, I was betrayed by false brethren. I was shipwrecked. I spent a day and a night in the deep. And I was forsaken. I was stoned and left for dead. I was whipped and beaten with rods. Listen, whatever you've been through, you haven't had all those things. You know, you've never been shipwrecked, I trust, or, or beaten with rods. I know I have never. But here, this guy who's gone through all of these terrible trials and circumstances says, I can do everything. I can do all things. 
In other words, it's like he's saying, just bring it on. I don't care what you've got to bring against me. I don't care what kind of pressure there is in the world. I can face anything you've got because uh, through Christ, who strengthens me? And did you know that Christ strengthens not only the Apostle Paul, he wrote this. Why is this in the Bible? It's for you to take a hold of it and say, Christ strengthens me too. I'm not afraid to worry about anything. Uh, I'll just cast all my cares on God and Jesus strengthens me so I can face it all. Is that okay? That's, uh, that's meant to give you confidence. Okay, let's all stand up. Jesus is my